All right, check it out. Day after Christmas, Arby's extravaganza. Second video today because they brought back, well, they brought out a cheddar thon. Uh, you could get a deal. I uh, mentioned it in the first video I did today with the return of the cheddar fish or the fish and cheddar sandwich. If you missed that, it will be linked at the end of this video. But I noticed when I rolled up to get that, that they brought back, I think, pretty sure, one of my favorite sandwiches over here at um, Arby's. That's the bag. And it says it's special. You saw the thumbnail LTO. That means limited time offer. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so little hat change. I remembered I had that hat on in the other video, the fish video, so I wanted to mix it up with the little hat change. Check it out. A little general sauce, I think. All right, so this is the brisket, bacon, beef, and cheddar. I'm pretty sure four years ago when I first reviewed this, and I smelled the brisket. It was called the bacon, brisket, beef, and cheddar, so they kind of uh, moved the bees around, and I probably, I didn't go back and watch that video. I remember enjoying this uh, sandwich. Um, I probably called it the triple B, brisket, bacon, beef. Throw in the cheddar, the BBBC. Got to be careful with those abbreviations. All right, so, all right, this has roast beef, bacon, smoked brisket, cheddar sauce, red ranch, red ranch on an onion roll. Oh, it smells so good. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, please. I don't know. Does anyone know? Does Arby's have the meats? Look at that. There's the bacon sticking its tongue out at you. Does Arby's have the meats? Oh, the back end's a little, little lackluster, but that's a money shot right there. We're going to try it out back after four years. Here we go. All right, so I fixed it up for the thumbnail. Give you one more look. I tell you, I'd share this with you because it's got that slow roasted brisket, the cheddar, the bacon, and the beef on an onion roll. Yes, please. Red Ranch, too. Oh, Red Ranch on the bottom. Red Ranch alert. And I got all the sauces. Arby's, Horsey, Three Pepper, Bronco. Bronco? There might be a quick little uh, Bronco. Bronco. What is it called? Bucking Bronco? No. Arby's Bronco Berry. I've never tried Bronco Berry, so I might film a quick review for that. This is a hefty burger. I believe it was $4.79. $4.69. I came for Cheddar Palooza. That's not what it's called. It's called, what was it called? Cheddar Thon. And I did do a video, like I said, on a fish sandwich, but we are all about this today. Upside down, the more you turn me, inside out, and round and round. Shout out Diana Ross. Wish me luck. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Wow. The smokiness of the brisket. I haven't had the brisket in a while. Mixed with the beef, the cheddar, bacon. Mmm. Mm. All right, I will say, critique number one, the bacon, very flimsy. No crunch to the bacon, decent flavor. Whoa, very salty, but all of this meat, all of this meat, yes, please. I do think it needs more of the red ranch sauce, and it needs a little bit more of the cheddar. Here we go, kind of opening it up right there. Arby's, not the most photogenic sandwich. Do I take another bite or I put some Arby's? Let me put some Arby's sauce on this bad boy. I know, we're going to get to horsey as well, or I'm going to get to it after the video. But because this comes with the Red Ranch, I want to do a bite with the Arby's just a little bit. 
It definitely needs more um, sauce. There's just so much meat going on. Just needs the sauce to kind of bring it together. We're going in for that bite right there with the Arby sauce. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Saucy. Mm. All right. So listen. <clears throat> wow. For under five dollars, this sandwich is so worth it. So worth the amount of meat that we got going on here. Three B's, brisket, beef, and bacon. The bacon needed to be a little more crispy. I needed to have a little more cheese sauce and a little more of the Red Ranch, but that's a good sandwich. That's a good sandwich. You could probably go and say, oh, like a little bit more or uh, get some of the um, cheddar on the side, something like that. I wanted to order it the way it comes and see uh, how they do with the build. Whew! That's really good. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to film just a quick video that I'll probably launch at midnight with my first ever uh, trying of the Bronco Berry Sauce with a uh, final uh, dip of the sandwich. But let's give this sandwich the way it comes, not with the Bronco Berry, the way it was built. Whew, let's give it a rating. I forgot, not that I forgot. I don't remember because it's been four years since this was last out when I reviewed it four years ago. I don't remember um, what score I gave it, but I know I enjoyed it. I do remember that. We're going to give this sandwich, the Triple B and Cheddar from Arby's, a rating of... Whew. I'm giving it a 90. That's a straight up 9 out of 10 for all you keeping score at home. Logging it into your endorsement notebooks. This has potential to be a 92 or 93 if it had more of the stuff that I told you it needed. It's just, it's just my opinion, my two cents on the matter. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing... There you go. Light up the comments. Brisket, bacon, beef, brisket, beef, bacon, bacon, brisket, beef. It's a tongue twister. No matter what goes in front, that was good. I would put bacon last, which I'm pretty sure it was, just because it has the least amount of that meat on this sandwich. And I talk with my hands. Sometimes I don't realize it, but sometimes because I'm seeing myself, I realize it. Should I do a video just sitting on my hands? No. It would make a lot of people out there happy. Well, maybe not a lot of people. It would make some people happy that, oh, you talk with your hands, hand movements. Blah, 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 blah. We always talk about it. I always like to make a little joke. But thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a great December 25th, however you uh, celebrated. And um, yeah, it's time to move on to the new year. And that was a good sandwich. I'm going to film a quick uh, Buck and Bronco. That's not the name of it. Bronco Berry Review. Stay tuned for that at midnight if you're up.